it is, it's a sound you, you never ever forget. If you said you was going to run a, a BRM V16 at wherever it may be, there would be people who would um, drive you know, miles just to hear that sound. It is something really special. When that power comes in, when you're driving the car, I mean, it is tremendous. It is the biggest thrill and the noise is incredible. Yeah, well, obviously it started post-war. British Racing Motors take on the might of the world, basically, and show their engineering uh, excellence. And in 62, a new car with a new engine, new gearbox, Graham Hill, who had been there the previous season. And they won, that's when they won the World Championship. So 62, they won the championship, and then the cars that you see to my left, uh, well, probably one of the prettiest cars, the 261 BRMs. 64, 65. Through all this, you must remember also that BRM made everything, everything, just like Ferrari does now. And, um, you know, with a band of 100, 100 guys, they made the car, the suspension, the engine, the gearbox, everything they ma was made in, in, here in Bourne. It's the English Ferrari. It's, obviously, Ferrari's got their name, but, you know, they were the two, two manufacturers that manufactured everything. I wanted to go motor racing but obviously I had a family young and I couldn't afford to go racing so I thought the next best thing I'll go, I want to go racing, I'll go and see if I can get a job at BRM to work on the team. I went to see Tim Parnell, gave me a job and put me straight in the engine shop. I went there in 72 and um, in that period I met uh, uh, and worked with a guy called Rob Fowler and towards the end when BRM was getting, you know, it was when we got into the rotary watch car in 76, 77, it was obviously coming to a, a very sticky end and there was no money and we couldn't build quality and, and couldn't qualify for races either. But uh, so we, we, uh, in, we had managed to get a job rebuilding a BRM for a guy who had a museum in uh, Norfolk and we was doing that at night whenever we could have, we did have a bit of time and one thing or and uh, we went and rebuilt this BRM 139 in, in Rob Fowler's garage and then went looking for other work. We was looking for BRMs to rebuild because obviously we knew about them and we got a good reputation rebuilding cars and running them at historic meetings and you know because I guess we was new boys out of Formula One we had some new ideas. Rob had been working with with me since he was about 18 I guess was it yeah, yeah. yeah. we expanded the company from then on and um, got into manufacturing engines BRM engines Ferrari engines Maserati engines and you know we've gone from strength to strength we bought all the BRM drawings about 22,000 drawings and so you know we've sort of um, become the continuation of BRM in a way we try to keep all the uh, BRM staff and the cars together and now we've uh, formed an association. It was great to think that um, you know Rob could come on and be a partner and hopefully the business will carry on uh, after me. Now Rob and I have some great times together, we, we race together in a Cobra two driver races and um, you know I think we've made up for a lot of the time we didn't have together. So for me yeah, it's fantastic and um, you know, and we've gone from strength to strength because we're all working for the same thing. Obviously we get on well and it's my father, it's my business partner and a mate. You know, it's, uh, you know it probably sounds a bit strange, but you know, I'm quite proud of that. It's, uh, well, I'm very proud yeah, of that. Not just, um, yeah. Works both ways. Yeah, so. uh, yeah, we've had, of course we have disagreements, but don't dwell on it too. Mm. Well, I don't think we've ever dwelled on it. It's either no. just get on, we've always been too busy to dwell on it. It's just right, okay, we've put that fire out, we'll get on with the next one. It, uh, so yeah, obviously very you know, proud, and no, we're obviously very proud of the business. We're surrounded by some fantastic cars, which are owned by some fantastic customers, which we've got. If it's your passion, it helps. Um, so yeah, it's great. We was heavily involved in the, the film Rush that came out last year, to, uh, uh, 2013. Um, again, the customers, we've got great customers, as I say, who ended up with a lot of the cars from the 70s, uh, and the, like the McLaren for James Hunt. We had a customer with the Ferrari 312, Nicky Lauda's car, and then the various other cars that were on the grid in, in 76. Lucky enough to drive some of the cars, uh, that's 
probably where some of my best acting skills come in because I just kept an hour with my mouth shut so that was great we're in the credits my, the five minutes of fame we did a shell commercial about six years ago around the world it was called and I was lucky enough to drive four of the cars on that so it, uh, there's not many people can say they've driven a Formula One car around the Coliseum but I've done it I well remember sort of going up when the guys had gone home, I was in the engine shop and dipping up and sitting in the cars, you know. And then, like, years later, I actually drove, I've actually driven those cars and um, driven every make of a model of, um, of BRM as Robert. And now to be, you know, to be entrusted with it, it's, it's very special because, you know, you, you know you, I went to work there, yeah, who knows what's going to happen in the rest of your life? And um, and you know, from going to work there in '72, it became my life. I've been, I've been lucky enough to be able to continue with with cars that I actually worked on and engines I actually worked on, and um, built up this relationship with the BRM owners and with uh, Rubri Owen. And um, yeah, so it's very. Uh, very gratifying in many ways and um, yeah I'm proud of it to be honest. And this little market town won a world championship or the Formula One world championship. You know come on it's British motor it's British racing motors give us some you know give it some kudos it was fantastic yeah.